for those of you that saw my previous video, uh, which discussed how do I reset an identity, um, one second, uh, this one right here. One of the things <clears throat> you may have caught is that I said that there are other uh, ways uh, or other alternatives to an identity field. And uh, I'm going to discuss another alternative to an identity field. Now note that there are, there are just numerous approaches to this, so um, if I were to sit there and discuss the different approaches, it would take forever. So I'm just going to discuss one because we've kind of already highlighted this in some of the other videos. Uh, for those of you, if you look at the videos that I've made where I'm using common table expressions, um, uh, right off the top of my head, I don't think I can remember uh, which ones, but I've used them quite a bit. I think in the mean, median, and mode, I want to say I used a common table expression for the median. Um, I might be wrong, but I think I did. Um, you'll know that I used a, a, one of the functions called row number. So we're going to do that um, right now. We're going to use that to populate a, a um, oh, what am I thinking? We're using that to populate um, basically the, uh, an identity field without it being an identity field. So the first thing I want to do is I want to select from Tesla historical data, and you'll see that. And then I'm going to select from a table that I created which has all of the Tesla data as well. And this is, I think it's new Tesla table. I could be wrong, but I think this is it. Now you'll notice that these tables are exactly the same. They both have 598 rows each. And you'll notice the Tesla ID starts at 200, okay? And then it goes to, what is that, 797. But let's suppose, I think it's 797, what it should be. Yeah, 797. Um, but let's suppose that I want it to be on this new Tesla table, I want it to be 1 through 598, since there are 598 rows. I don't want it to be, um, you know, 200 through 797. So how can I get it to start at 1 and increment by 1 instead of um, doing it this the way it currently is? And yes, I could do an identity field, reinsert the data. Um, but I'm going to use the row number here in a common table expression because this will also show you an example of some of the other things, by the way, you can do with a common table expression, but as well that you can use row number to populate an identity field if you wanted. Now, the difference between these two tables is Tesla historical data. This is an identity field. This is a copied table of that data, except I removed the identity here, and that will be key because we're going to update this table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in begin tran um, because when I run this transaction I'm going to make sure that it updates correctly and then I'm going to do with Tesla CTE as which is our common table I am going to select the row number oops, over and I'm going to order by date from Uh, so we need Tesla historical data. Now the first thing I want to do oh man I did not I did not mean to type in uh, that. Okay so you didn't recognize the begin trend that's good. Uh, that's why. Okay, that's what was wrong there, but um, I accidentally hit F5. When the begin trim was there, okay, so I can get rid of this now. All right, so we have ID, and um, now the next thing I want to do is I want to order it by date and then see what date that it's what date it's pulling. And the reason why I want to just make sure that it's organizing it correctly. Okay, good. All right, so then we have date. After date, we have price. And then after price, we have 200-day simple moving average. So let's check on that. Okay. So this, again, this is a standard common table expression. But you'll notice our ID field that we're getting from row number here, our ID field goes from 1 to 598, which is what we want. And remember, we, we don't want to use the identity. We want to, we're actually going to do this with row number. This is kind of like an example of an alternative. It's not the only alternative, but it is an alternative. So 
currently our table doesn't show that, right? Currently our table, if we look at our, our table, um, I'm sorry, let's new test the table. It doesn't have that. It's 200 to 797. So what we want to do is we want to update the Tesla ID. So this is one of the cool things that you can do with a uh, common table expression. We can update the new Tesla table. And then we can select, or I'm sorry, we can set the new Tesla table, Tesla ID equal to Tesla CTE dot ID. We are setting that equal to that from Tesla CTE, the common table expression up here. That's where we're getting it from. We're setting this ID to this. And we're setting it to that ID where the new Tesla table dot date equals the Tesla CTE dot date. So when these two dates are equal, we are going to set this ID right here, this Tesla ID 200 equal to the date here. Now you saw earlier that in this common table expression, the Tesla CTE, in that common table expression, it goes one through 500 and um, I'm sorry, five, yeah, 598. Okay, now the reason why I have a begin trend there is after we do the update, I always check the work to make sure. That way if I need to roll back the transaction, I can roll back the transaction. But notice, right off the bat, you can do an insert from a common table expression, you can do a delete, and you can even do an update. And that's our new Tesla table. And you can see, again, if you uh, look at the information, where our Tesla ID now is no longer 200 to 797. Instead, it's 1 to 598. So the way we populated an ID, and this is just an example of this, is we use the row number, which is this right here is the row number, right? When I, when I, point, when I bring my cursor over here, this is row number 1, 2, 3, 4. We're putting that, we're ordering the row number by the date. So this date determines it. Again, if I did row number over price, it would order it by price. But we're ordering it by the date. So the earliest date comes first, and that's what determines um, this, basically the, the row number is ordered by that, that process. And notice, we have not used an identity. This table does not have an identity. So if we needed to insert new data, we could update, we could use a common table expression, and we could update it the same way. So that's another alternative to what we're doing. Um, I'm sorry, that's another alternative to resetting an identity. That's another alternative to even having an identity field. If it gives you trouble, this is one way that you can, you don't have to have an identity to do that.